Today on Pathetic Automatic Scum, we're going to be taking this Prindle shit box off to the scrap heap and replace it with something a little more elite. This is my financial mistake of two years. A 1987 supercharged Toyota MR2 that I picked up with more than its fair share of rust, along with some other issues here and there that were a lot smaller in comparison. Um, and today is going to be marking the first episode for its last gargantuan task that I had planned for this amazing little thing. And that is a manual swap. Yay! Super excited. It has taken me so long to find parts for this car. I can't, I can't begin to explain how much of a nightmare it has been to find all the parts because initially when I got this car and I decided to do the manual conversion, I wanted to use an E51 gearbox, which is the... LSD supercharger gearbox for these cars. That was fine. I managed to find the gearbox. In fact, that gearbox is sitting in the corner there. Unfortunately, um, with that gearbox, they run their own specific drive shafts. So I could not run the automatic supercharged drive shafts, which of course this car currently has. I can't run the non supercharged manual gearbox shafts. I had to find either make or find supercharger E51 LSD shafts. And unfortunately, I couldn't find that. I had a friend who actually sent off a set of his own LSD manual shafts to a fabricator to get a set made and not only did the guy fail to make a replacement set but he actually ended up damaging um, those shafts. So with much frustration I have opted to go for the C-Series gearbox which is the non-supercharged manual gearbox for these cars. I've got pretty much all of the parts bar a couple of things here and that I'm still waiting to be sent up but this will be a full conversion. I want the car to basically be as manual as possible, which includes things like doing the clutch hard lines rather than the soft lines that a lot of people will do with conversions. I just want this car to be, you know, as untellable except for the fact that it's gonna be running a different gearbox. Um, apologies in advance, because this is gonna be pretty choppy, pretty messy. I'm still figuring out how to film this kind of stuff. I still keep losing my breath when I'm talking. Yeah, it's just gonna be an absolute mess, but it's going to be really fun. I'm going to do the lip first. Unfortunately, the GoPro threw a memory card error at this point, so I was unable to get any footage detailing the removal. Big apologies for how choppy this footage is. I really have no clue what I'm doing in regards to a conversion like this. So just bear with me through this episode. Hopefully the next one will be a little more entertaining. I will show the internet what is going on. No, you won't. Unfortunately, the camera didn't record me removing some of the parts of this car, so I'm going to be detailing them all for you. Like, for example, <laughs> under here, I had to get these under trays loose. I also did the same on the other side, just so I could reach some bolts up back behind to remove the front bumper. There are two bolts along here. There's also a couple that secure it uh, up along here. So they had to get removed. That one I don't think is a bolt hole, but I had to get those removed, which were a pain in the bum because you really have to just, oh, you can get camera through down here. But yeah, you basically have to sort of get under, sort of behind there, and it's, it's an absolute pain in the bum to do. You basically do that on both sides. So the other tray had to go for the bumper to come off. Um, another issue I had with the bumper actually. Ugh. I couldn't remember how I removed the bumper last time. Um, but with this removal, the bumper support bar had to come off as well. So the support bar is right here. So it's just living here for now. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pull it up because the fog lights were in the way, so I can't remember how I installed the kit originally. I thought that the bumper, this bar went on first and then the bumper skin went over the top, but obviously this and the skin were one piece or bolted together as one piece. So that was a bit of a pain in the bum to do, but yeah, all the parts have been removed. Sorry for the really abrupt ending to this video. Um, I did have a lot of content that I was filming, but unfortunately um, the camera had otherwise had other intentions so yeah I'm not quite sure what the issue is and hopefully it doesn't happen again but yeah see you guys next time for part two and or part one of the actual conversion so excited